What's up guys, Smith here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to read the order books on Bittrex. This will help you to gauge entries and exits on your short-term day trades and scalps. It will also help you to plot support and resistance for technical analysis and should give you a nice edge on other traders in the market. Okay, so if you pull up a coin, I've got ARK in front of me and then you head over to order books just above the graph that you get from Bittrex. You'll be able to see the buy and the sell wall straight away. On the left axis, we have the amount of Bitcoin in the order, whether it be a bid or an ask. And on the bottom axis, we have the market price in Satoshis. If we take a look at the green wall over here, which is the buy wall, the first point of interest will be this big jump here. Now, if you're looking to enter ARK, I would suggest you put your buy price just in front of this wall. Uh, if you are doing this, you're hoping effectively that the buy wall stays there and doesn't get eaten or removed and that bids will stack up in front of the buy wall. This is a very good trading strategy to use because we can introduce good risk management as we know if the price drops beyond this support line, the trade is obsolete and what we're trying to achieve is no longer achievable. So you can put your stop loss just behind this support line here, which is actually only a two or 3%. You'll be able to see from looking at the buy wall that there are further jumps in support. Now these are just other support lines that you can plot on your graph and look up in the order books. This will help you to further your technical analysis. You'll be able to see here this jump here around 21,800. Uh, another good jump around 20,300. And lastly around 19,000. These would be the supports for ARK at the moment. A general rule of thumb for predicting future price movements would be that the buy wall next to the market price down here has to be slightly bigger than the sell wall to push the price upwards. Now if we take a look at the other side of the order books, the asks, this will be used to gauge exits. Now let's say we bought in at the current market price which appears to be roughly around 22,700 satoshis. Our first point of interest, our first resistance point, our first point where we should consider taking profit will be this big jump here which is 25,000 satoshis. You'll be able to align this in the order books. As you can see I'm on page 9. We have a 3 and a 2.5 bitcoin sell which makes up the majority of this jump here. Again you should consider taking profit here. When price action reaches our first resistance target, you'll want to look at the bid section down here to see whether the necessary volume is coming in to break through this resistance point. We know that we would need an increase of roughly 5 or 6 Bitcoin to break through this level. And then you would look at the next resistance points which are 27,000 and 28,000. What you'll often find is if the necessary volume doesn't come in to break through this resistance point, that price action will either consolidate or go into a pattern formation. This consolidation period effectively allows the buy pressure to build up and break through this resistance point. One last thing that I'd like to add is that sometimes buy and sell wars can be manipulated by whales to either keep price action down or to help price action go upwards, whatever their motive is. Sometimes buy and sell walls randomly come and disappear. You'll notice that through experience of just watching order books and trading using this strategy that you'll learn how the manipulation works a little bit better. It's quite hard to explain to you guys. It's something that you just kind of need to learn with experience. I hope this short video I've put together for you guys helps you to understand order books a little bit better and will help you to feel more confident when following along with short term calls and furthers your trading strategies. Thanks for watching. Knowledge.